If you guys are looking for the number one best MCW pro player class setup to use in Modern Warfare 3, this one is it, bro. This thing is actually insane. As you guys can see, this thing is a freaking laser beam. Now, there's actually a post recently by Breakpoint of all the different CDL class setups. This one was in that list. And if you guys are curious, this MCW class setup is used by Clayster, Cami, Lucky, Vehicle, and Awakening, which a lot of those names are big names in the CDL right now and have been around for a very long time. So in today's gameplay, I'm obviously going to show off gameplay of that class setup here and obviously show you guys the class setup, of course. We actually ended up dropping close to 100 kills in an MGB nuke with this class setup here. Before we get into that if you guys do enjoy today's video find it helpful in any way shape or form or even just use the class setup leave a like subscribe to the channel anyways let's get into the best class setup for the mcw so i'm going to go through each individual attachment and also give some other recommendations and other attachments that other pros use but i will show off all five attachments towards the end however if you want to stick around and see what the pros also use as well by all means go ahead so going over the first attachment i really think is a underrated attachment even for other weapons in the game is the muzzle the l4r flash hider it gives you the most amount of recoil control gun kick control but only hurts your ads time just a little bit which is actually insane now this isn't one that pros use but it's one i've used in the past is the x10 ported 290 muzzle here this gives a insane amount of vertical recoil control gun kick control and horizontal recoil control however it does hurt your ads time quite a bit more and also hurts your aiming idle sway and then the other muzzle that most pros actually use but i just am not really a big fan of is the t51r billeted break for insane amount of vertical recoil control firing aiming stability and gun kick control however the downside is you do hurt your horizontal recoil just a little bit and also your bullet velocity and range so if you do tend to take a lot more longer gunfights this muzzle might not be the best option next attachment isn't even an argument is the 16.5 inch mcw cyclone long barrel there really isn't any other reason to use these other barrels in the game and also the pros don't use any of these other barrels in the game either this is the main barrel that's used for the mcw now if you do want to follow the exact cdl rules it is actually required to have an optic for your mcw two that are used are the mk3 reflector and also the slate reflector now going over the stock is the rb regal heavy stock i think this is also a stock that most pros use as well i haven't really seen them use any other stocks on the mcw but this gives a decent amount of recoil control gun kick control and tax and spread however it does hurt your sprint and fire speed ads time and sprint speed just overall however the under barrel is going to help out a lot with that and the last and final attachment is of course the under barrel we went with the x10 phantom 5 hand stop reason why we went with this is for the sprint and fire speed ads time vertical recoil control and gun kick control now the other under barrel that a lot of pros use is the dr6 hand stop this doesn't give any sort of like recoil control adjustments or anything it just gives you aim walking speed ads time sprint to fire speed and movement speed another under barrel that i don't think pros use is this one here the msp 98 hand stop one this one's also very good really any of these four are honestly a really great great option for the mcw but this one is the one i went with the phantom 5 hand stop now right there is all five attachments for the class setup that i used in today's video like i said we got a gameplay with close to 100 kills and mg nukes so stick around for that if you guys do enjoy the video and do enjoy the class leave a like subscribe i'll catch y'all later take care everybody all right you guys we got the pro player mcw class setup here in modern warfare 3 there's actually quite a few different pro player class setups oh my lord there's like two guys here okay there's like, I think like, a, there's like at least five or six different pro player class setups that people are using right now. But this is the one I found that has like a good balance of like recoil control, movement speed, and just kind of like everything. Oh my, dude, these guys are still just running up here. Hold on. I'm kind of like, dude, these guys are still running up. Bro, hold, hold the phone. Wait, bro, they are all up here, bro. I don't even know what's going on. I can't even think. Let me, let me lock in real quick. I need to kind of get out of this corner. This dude, this is deadly. This dude, they are still spawning here. They know I'm here too. I'm going to try to run this way. Oh my, no, I'm dead. I'm actually dead. I'm actually dead. Oh my God. I Okay, dude, that was, dude, what? Bro, they literally just kept running up escalator. That was insane. All right, back to reality. But yeah, this is one of the class setups here that actually, I think like four or five different pros use. And it, like I said, has a good balance of just recoil control damage range a little bit of movement speed ads time it's got it's got a good mix of a it's got a good mix of a lot of things is he running up here yep he is let me try to get this guy up here oh he already he already got he already got got it let's go all right where are these guys at i need to get a few kills while, while we got this advanced stuff there we go Oh yeah, we're freaking dude. This is this this class setup is a freaking zap, dude. Literally a zap cannon. 
Got them two as well. Let's call this helo in. Oh, this class setup is freaking crazy. There's another guy in there also. We can just call in the normal UAV here. Let's see if this guy pushes. He did. Let's go. Very nice. Very nice. I was about to say, I heard a guy over here. Oh, there's, they're going to be a C2. Still kind of zapping over here. When is he? I was about to say, when is he? These guys will be here. Man, this... Uh, dude, I'm telling you, you could honestly really lock, rock anything on the MCW. And as long as you can control that vertical recoil... Dude, you'll literally... You'll literally have no problem, bro. It's it's actually insane. Yeah, I think we can call in the other advance. Oh, thank God I did. Because I... I knew there was one more. I didn't know what he was going to... What his plans were, I guess. See if any more come up here. But yeah, this has been my go-to class setup also for search and destroy recently. Like, if you're really just trying to bang out when every search and destroy game, dude, this is a really good class setup also. Could even swap it out the muzzle for a sounder if you really wanted to. To stay off the radar. But if you're rocking, like, ghost or whatever, you might honestly be okay. On a little 26 here. Kind of just playing this a little more passive. These guys, like, you guys are definitely in, in bundles. They, they come in, they come in groups, little packs. I will say I was using a different muzzle for a while that actually gave a little bit better recoil control. And there's the MGB. Let's freaking go, baby. Oh my Lord. Wait. Oh, I'm tripping. I thought he was, I thought he was on the right for some reason. Oh my Lord. Let's go, baby. Drop a like and sub if you mean it this far. Let's go. There's a guy back here at A as well. Uh, but like I was saying, I was using a different muzzle for a while, but uh, come to find out, it hurts It hurts your ADS time, but it does give a, a little bit better recoil control. I probably will recommend that muzzle anyways, if you just need a little bit more better recoil control, but I don't know if any of the pros are using it just because of the, the ADS. Um, basically, the muzzle hurts your ADS a little more than normal. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that's why they're not really using it. I was using the X10 ported one, I'm pretty sure. This one I was using before this, but... Like I said, I kind of mixed it up. I'm trying to get used to this class setup because a lot of the pros use this one. And, I mean, it's on it has a little bit more vehicle control, but... Honestly, it doesn't really feel that bad. Still absolutely frying as well. Oh, this. I really don't even need this, to be honest. Kind of on a nice streak. I really want to keep this streak going. I don't know. Are these guys coming this way? I assume they're coming this way. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. There we go. I'm pretty sure they were coming this way. Hold on. Kind of locked in right now, if you can't tell. Bro, where'd they go? Oh, he's down here. Oh my god, bro. I was on such a freaking crazy streak. I was trying to get the guy that was all the way down in the in the A tunnel, but... Oh, well, I guess we'll uh, maybe try to get another one going here. Possibly. Uh, these guys are playing pretty passive now. This guy's still in the same spot. Oh my lord. Oh, brother. I had no clue he was running up there, dude. I couldn't even hear him. If he didn't have, if he didn't have Cobra sneakers on, uh, dude, I'm freaking deaf, dude. I don't even know. There's, I swear there's a, yep. I was about to say that. I swear there's another guy that peaked too. Oh my lord. I will say, I was using um, high grain rounds for a bit, I'm pretty sure. And 
And sometimes not using them now, I do kind of feel that difference in like bull velocity and damage range at times. But I mean, as long as you can just hit your shots, I feel like it honestly really isn't that big of a deal. Got them both. Dude, oh my lord. These guys are... Dude, I think there's like two guys using LMGs or something. I don't know if another... I don't know if we'll be able to get another streak. Okay, that's just a... A freaking three-piece down... Down the freaking terminal. What the heck? Yeah, they gotta be... Oh my. Like, see, for example, I just don't know. I feel like just sometimes the damage range gets a little... It's a little weird sometimes. Now, it feels like it takes an extra bullet or two, but I don't know. It could just be me. Need recon overhead. Copy that. UAV UAV is there we go. Reload. Absolutely zapped. Got him as well. Guess there's going to be a little bit more practice just to get used to this one. But, I mean, so far, it's feeling really good. Oh, my God, bro. I don't even know why I even challenged that. I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to get some kills here. Basically, basically at the end of the game. Yeah, they're definitely over here. Oh, they're actually at bottom. There we go. I'm pretty sure there's guys below me as well. Where are these gentlemen at? I'm not too sure. Oh my lord. Okay, I'm gonna go for one more, one more like streak here, and if I die, we're just gonna call it in. Call that a game. I feel like this game's been going on for long enough. Maybe try to get 100 kills at least. Oh, buddy, just like, wait, what? There's another guy back there. I saw him. Oh, he's. Oh my god, buddy got freaking zapped. Yeah, they're still spawning back here. Got the helo. Oh, we're freaking low on ammo. Let me get some of that. Call the UAV in. All right, all right. Where... Okay, he's, can I shoot through that? No, I definitely can't. Oh my lord. Oh, dude. Okay. We'll just go in and call this in. We're basically at the end of the game. There we go. Zap that guy. I'm not sure if we'll be able to get a hundred here, but. So, I mean, a solid game nonetheless. I mean, this just shows you that's just the true power of this freaking MCW class. I mean, I even use this, like I said, in search. I use this in all sorts of game modes, and this thing is definitely one of the best MCW class subs that you should be using in Modern Warfare 3. If you guys enjoyed today's video, drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new. I'll catch y'all later. Take care, everybody.